President, my question is again for the Minister for Emergency Services. Minister, in a briefing with the member for Gembrook in the other place on Monday morning, Esther CEO Marty Smythe said ADF staff were, called, were going to be called in and trained to take triple zero ambulance calls in response to the issues occurring in the last two weeks. Why wasn't this done months and months ago when it was obvious call volumes were increasing? Uh, thank you, President. Um, Mr Davis, no final decisions have been uh, made in relation to the appropriateness of AD ADF support and whether, in fact, that would provide the urgent uh, improvements that me as the Minister is seeking from the agency. However, I'm pre prepared to provide updates to the House in relation to that. Uh, as I have outlined um, again and again, um, I have had uh, numerous conversations with the Department, the Emergency Management Commissioner, uh, Esther CEO and Board Chair. Uh, all uh, considerations, whether it be ADF, whether it be support from other states, uh, whether it be, as I've identified, bringing back people from secondment, asking people to return from retirement, asking people whether they would be considering looking at roster changes to cover more hours. Nothing's off the table, and nor should it be, when we are in the middle of an unprecedented surge in capacity that I want to ensure that the agency is supported to meet, and those efforts will continue continue to do so. And I would point out, um, uh, Mr Davis, that um, you, you have taken in two questions now to a practice of uh, quoting uh, the, the CEO and he, in what he has said to uh, Mr Batten in a, in a briefing. I, I have no way to verify uh, that accuracy of your statements. Um, however, I would... Um, uh, I believe that my answers have indeed tried to be as full and frank as possible in relation to responding to the issues you have made, but I can't confirm the accuracy of the statements that you've made. In fact, I believe that they may not be accurate. Mr Davis, on a supplementary. President, accurate, I think they are indeed, but leaving that aside, leaving that aside, Minister... There, there is clearly a dithering and a, an incompetence and a slow decision making here and I ask why is there a reticence to call in the ADF and is this your decision, is it your decision um, or is it someone else's decision to ensure that Esther has the ADF there? Thank you, Mr Syme. Thank you, President. Thank you. Mr Davis, I, um, in my substantive answer, I explained that no options are off the table, but this is not a job that you can just pull anybody into. Esther call takers are highly skilled positions, much like ICU nurses, ambulance call takers are not just available. They are, in particular, in the middle of a pandemic. These types of skills are very, um, are, are very tied up across the entire health system. Um, and so I think I've identified many reasons, many options that we are looking at. In relation to ADF, my initial, my initial advice is that we will take many weeks in order to have that personnel up to the up to the speed to deal with the matters at hand and my focus is on improvements and outcomes right now not 3 months time